Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. How you feeling today? Not great. Not great? No. I see you on crutches right now. Is yeah. this new or what? Five weeks in. Five weeks in? Okay. Where you from, Stace? Vermont. Vermont? Oh, that's a long way from home. Yeah. What brings you out here today? This. What, the lifestyle? Yeah. Are you um, dealing with any addictions or anything at the moment? Yeah. What's your choice of drugs, Stacy? Dope and powder. Yeah. How you find about find out about Kensington, though, coming all the way from Vermont? Um, well, I didn't know about it at first. I came out here with somebody. Um, originally, I was on the run, and uh, I went to Bristol, mm -hmm. and I was copping in Trenton, and I met somebody in Trenton, and they told me about Philly. Okay, so word of mouth type of thing. Yeah. Okay, so you went from Vermont to Bristol, PA? Yeah. All right. You got somewhere to lay your head at the moment? No. Nope. Homeless? Yep. So you're homeless and you got to deal with the crutch thing, right? Yeah. How have that been going for you? It's rough. Rough? Yeah. Did you have housing in the past? You can't go back to Bristol at all? Oh, no. That was that was like four or five years ago now. Okay. Yeah. What happened to your leg? I jumped out a second story window. Wow. Why did you do that? If you don't mind me asking. The cop showed up at the trap house. Oh, at the trap? Yeah. Oh, so you got away. Yes. Okay. Wow, so um, you're currently on a run, right? No, no, not anymore. Not anymore? No, that was when I first came out here. When you first came out here? Yeah, yeah. I, I went home and turned myself in, went to jail, and then came back. So did you break something down there or what? Yeah, I broke my leg. You broke your leg? Yeah. How old are you, Stacy? 24. 24? Oh my gosh, you're young. You're very young. Yeah. You're very young. What's some of the craziest things you've seen out here in Kensington? I mean, I was raped in that lot over there. Raped? Before they put the fence up. Are you serious? Yep, I was screaming bloody fucking murder and nobody, nobody did anything. You was raped in that lot? Yep. Nobody helped you? You didn't report, did you report it to the police or anything? No. No? No. I'm so sorry to hear that, Stacy pretty fucking crazy to me. Was it like nighttime, daytime? It was nighttime. It's the middle of the night. I'm so sorry, Stacy. That's, that's scary, you know? It is what it is. It's not, it's not it is what it is. Well, I know it's not, you couldn't control it, but um, it's not right, man. It, 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 you guys, you know, y'all deserve justice for stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I guess he's, he got about 13, 14 other girls too, so. What? Well, one day I can't say I'm happy you're still alive. Still out here, Stacy. You ain't gotta be out here in these streets. You got any game plan to go get clean and stuff? I don't know. You don't know? Do you want to? I don't know. No. You have any kids, Stacy? <laughs> nah. What was your hobbies before the drugs? Before the streets? Oh, yeah. What did you like doing with yourself? I started drugs at fourteen. Mm. I never really found hobbies. You never got a chance. So you think drugs took over your childhood, didn't it? You have any siblings, Stacy? Yeah. How many? Um, well, they're all half in step, but two sisters and uh, three brothers, four brothers. Are you close to them? Not really. I mean, just one of my brothers. Yeah. They know about your situation? Not really. Not really? No. Uh, so, basically, I just want to say, um, do you plan on going back to Vermont and leaving this hellhole? Eventually, yeah. Probably soon. Vermont's a lot different than Kensington, Philadelphia, right? Oh, absolutely. What's the difference? Uh, the trees, the mountains. It's yeah. green. <laughs> There's drugs there, but it's not like this. It's not like this? No. How about the violence? Is the violence up oh, to date? No. Like it's, it's, there's, there's violence, but it's all indoors. It's not gun violence like out here. Yeah. You got people out here looking out for you, like friends, acquaintances. So, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, out here in these type of streets, a helping hand can help you, you know? Oh, absolutely. Stacy, have you been able to feed yourself? Yeah. Out here? Yeah. How many times a day do you think you eat? Well, I've always eaten 
like frequently throughout the day small meals i guess but are you paying for the meals or you got the people that's giving stuff out both a little bit of both since i broke my leg i've been more relying on the people but the other usually, homeless right um well like the people that give out food yeah usually i buy my own though when yeah. i'm not broken when you're not broken yeah. um before your injuries how would you like making money out here to do with your habit? I mean, I'd walk the Av. Walk the Av? What's that for those that don't? Uh, prostitution. Prostitution? How long have you been in that line of work for? Since I came out here, like mm. four or five years. Did like one of the other like prostitutes introduce you to the lifestyle? Um, or you kind of really. just seen just kinda saw. Saw what was going on? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you had your first date, did it make you like? Did you cry? Did it make you feel sad when you went on that first date with the stranger? Um, nah, I just got high after. <laughs> the numb it. Yeah. How was your relationships before the uh, prostitution and stuff? Well, I had just gotten out of an eight-year relationship. Hmm. So was you in that relationship during the line of work that you do? No. No. Well, he followed me to Kensington. And um, found out? From Vermont. From Vermont? Yeah. Oh, so that guy really cared about you? Yeah. Uh, he was uh, run off the block. I mean, I guess chased off the block with guns and shit. Really? So, yeah, he kind of went back to Vermont. <laughs> oh, some stuff scared him. Was he yeah. getting high or? Yeah. He was getting high? Oh, so he probably didn't follow you for your well-being. He followed you no, for he the drugs? He, he had no idea what was here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It literally took him 16 hours to find me. Oh. Do you still prostitute knowing that you're injured like this? I have, yeah. It don't make no difference at all, huh? No. no. I mean, it does with how many dates I get, I guess, but um, it doesn't really make a difference to me. How many, how many dates, I'm sorry, how many dates um, did you get a day before the injuries? I mean, I literally have had men crash into each other trying to pull over for me, so it, really? was, it was a lot. Yeah. A lot? How much you think you made a day doing the dates? A few hundred. A few hundred a day? If not, upwards of a thousand. How about now? Why are you dealing with these injuries? I'm dealing with maybe a hundred bucks a day. Hundred bucks a day, yes, and that's still more than some of the women out here. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever dealt with any like creepy people? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, give us one of your experiences dealing with one of the creeps. Um, another girl waved me into a car, and uh, immediately she asked for her payment from the guy, and um, this guy was smoking crack. Hmm. Uh, and he started pulling off when I got in the car and mm. he just kept driving down the avenue without stopping at stop signs or red lights going faster and faster when he was going like 55 miles per hour I realized I should probably get out of that car um, and he's I grabbed my, my purse and uh, he said God please forgive me and he swerved right as I jumped out of the car what oh man You've been through so much stuff and survived it at 24 years old, right? Yeah. At 24 years old, you've been through more than the average person at that age. Oh yeah. You know, how was your how was your living situation in Vermont? Like, how was your upbringing, your childhood? Uh, my mom did drugs. Okay. In front of me, so it kind of sparked my interest. Hmm. Um, foster care. I bounced back and forth between my mom and my dad. And okay came back to my mom and that's when I started doing drugs myself. So rough childhood as well. You could write a book about your life. Yeah, people told me that. You could start your own YouTube channel and talk about your life. Reach out to the kids, give them advice, help them not, not get here. You know what I'm saying? I feel for you. I feel for you. Hearing you say coming from Vermont, I'm thinking good living, nice two parent household and no. stuff. That's that's why you shouldn't judge. Yeah. You shouldn't judge at all because there's people going through stuff all over the world. Oh yeah. And um, right now, I just want to give you your flowers for surviving that. 
Um, you're very young. You're 24 years old. Um, I feel as though you don't need this life. Get out while you can, man. Yeah. Stacy, I'm trying to tell you, Stacy. Like, this woman that me and ATM Fox interviewed, they disappeared. They're not here no more. They're not here no more, Stacy. They're dead, Stacy. It's females that was right where you at right now. They not. They're dead now, Stacy. They're dead. Yeah. Stacy. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, Stacy. I know you. It's it's a lot of help out here once you're ready. It's a lot of. What's it called? Rock. Prevention point. Prevention point. Over there. It's a lot of help out here, Stacy. We got resources for you. We could talk about it online. But Stacy, um. We experienced this so much, man. Young woman that we interviewed with, they're dead, Stacy. In the body bag. And their family didn't their family not around the you know? Yeah. Would you tell the youth? Him. You know, you already know. Would you tell the youth out here that's getting high, doing drugs, prostituting? What advice would you give the kids that's that's living the same lifestyle you live in, Stacy? It's not worth it. Anything you want to say to the people that's supporting you, um, your family, any message to your family, anything? I don't know. I'll be back eventually. Stacy, I'd like to thank you for your time. You've been wonderful for us. Please get off these streets. You're disabled at the moment. And you know, like, this is like a rough neighborhood, so they gonna see, take that as a weakness. Or oh, she she disabled, let's take advantage of her. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you probably experienced some people trying you and stuff because you're disabled, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I'll be off the crutches soon, so. Yeah. Thank you for your courage to speak with us, Stacy. God bless, ATM yeah. Re out. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.